It really sounded like a child screaming. So we lifted up this concrete pillar and there was this tiny little dog. As you can see here, exactly where Barry's been living. Our job out there was to disarm IEDs and homemade bombs. It took me four days to actually earn a trust enough to let me touch her. New life, Barry. Hence where the name Barry come from. We just thought it was a boy, so we just called her Barry. Have a nice trip, Barry. <laughs> and it wasn't until we did get her back and we showered her that we realised that she was actually a girl. <laughs> me and her become inseparable every day. She'd come out on jobs with me, she was always with me on task. And not just that, she become the morale of the entire camp. Everyone was so pleased to see her. Every day someone had a brand new toy for her. I come home on leave and the situation in Syria had really deteriorated in the two weeks I was at home. So I wasn't actually allowed to fly back. I was at home trying to organize her getting out of Syria. And I had this really good charity called War Pause that really helped me out, they were great. We worked together to get Barry out of Syria into Iraq. She had to do three months of quarantine to make sure she had no diseases or anything. So for her, it was quite a lonely three months. We're actually in the Eurotunnel now, uh, driving all the way to Paris Airport, uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport to pick her up, and then drive her back tonight. So if all goes to plan, then she will be with us tonight. I was really nervous because obviously I, I left a tiny little puppy and then all of a sudden she's this big dog. And my concerns were sort of, will she remember me? Will she be the same? dog that I left. It took about 10 minutes and then she all of a sudden sniffed my leg and then cowered to the floor with her belly sort of in the air for me to stroke. Oh, you got that belly oh. oh, good baby. That was the moment where I kind of knew that she remembered me and that was an amazing moment. My little puppy had come home. And in the process of getting her back, everyone's saying that you saved this puppy, but at the end of the day, I don't think I saved her, I think she saved me. And she saved a lot of the other guys out there from the thoughts and feelings that we have going through them situations we did. She's done as much, if not more, for me than I have for her in the sense of my own recovery. I may have got her back here, but she kind of made me better.